this is Rich Harrington, and I want to show you how to assemble your video inside of Adobe Photoshop. Now, I've already created a new document, and we covered this on an earlier movie that you're free to check out. Essentially, we went under the new menu, and we chose from the film and video preset and the correct setting to match the timeline. And that matched my footage. I created my video timeline and set its frame rate to match my footage, which in this case is 2398. Now, I know I went through that really quickly. You're free to check out that other video over at Photo Focus in our Video for Photographers Learning Center. But let's jump right in. I want to assemble the shots. When I'm ready to add clips to my timeline, all I need to do is click the plus button to navigate to them. Now, I've already organized all of my shots into a single folder to make this a bit easier. Remember, you can use tools like Adobe Bridge to quickly batch rename and get things organized. Otherwise, you can navigate to the individual files, but I find this method much faster to just put everything I want into one folder and even name them with a sequential number when I have a rough idea on the order that I want. I'll click open and those files will all come in to Adobe Photoshop, like so. Now at this point, I only need to get rid of layer zero, which is that first shot in the timeline. It's not necessary, so I could throw that away and you see that everything else ripples. And as I'm looking at my shots here, it's pretty simple. Let me just turn down my computer volume for a second, and I'm going to press play. You see the video plays in real time. Now, obviously, these shots can be edited. There's parts to take out. But as I drag through, I can get an idea of what sort of stuff I have to work with. And if I decide I want to change a shot, that's pretty easy as well. Let's go ahead and just get the shots in the right order and we'll make a few edits here. All right, let's start up here at the beginning. And one of the first things I think I wanna do is shorten this shot up a little bit to just the critical action. So they're walking in, that feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and trim that by pulling back and you see the shot's duration is adjusted. In fact, it will snap right to the playhead and everything else ripples. Dragging through this next shot, I get an idea of what's there. And I think I'd like to start a little farther in, right before the train comes in. So there's the train coming around the corner. And let's select that clip, and I'll use the scissors here to create an actual edit. You see it splits the segment. Now it's really simple to just click off and then click on the one piece and press the delete key to do a ripple. And you see it gets rid of the shot. So there it is, the train drives in, and I like that and I think we're just gonna go right to being on the train so let's pull that up a little bit and we'll take this here and you see we've got the shot of riding on the train now the durations here can all be refined once we get to the music portion of this edit but I'm just cutting this down to an initial edit to keep only the good parts that I want and that's one of the most important things with video editing is to learn how to actually delete things. So why don't we just get rid of the rest of that shot. I'll press delete and everything ripples. And you see the edit is actually starting to take shape. There we go. That looks pretty good. Let's get the rack focus. I like that there. And we'll use the scissors to trim away a little bit and get this down to an initial edit. That looks good and we continue to ripple and delete. Now, you can really use either method, grabbing the handle and pulling from either side to shorten the shot. And as you do that, you see a nice thumbnail preview where you get an idea about the duration you're working with. That makes it pretty easy to get the initial edit. Or use the scissors there to perform a trim. Let's do an in-camera wipe there. I like that. And we see the street fair. There's another in-camera wipe, so we'll take that to the other side. And I'm referring to an in-camera wipe, meaning that somebody crossed the frame, and that's going to create a great edit point to go into the next shot. All right, make a few adjustments there with that as we pan across the street to get an energy of the street life. That looks good. I like that right there. And we'll continue to tell the story. Now, I'm looking at this, and I'm not sure. These last two shots are pretty similar. So I'm debating getting rid of one of them. 
or it may be changing the order. People crossing the street here, they're in the street fair, cross the street, more street life. And I'm just going to put this one here at the end and get rid of this one instead. And that gives me what I want. Now, this is not a complete edit, nor is it a master production, but I've put my initial thoughts together, and that's the best way to start to tell a story, is to just experiment with your footage and try sequencing it to tell an initial story. You'll see at this point, everything is properly lined up. I've got my clips in order. They're in a timeline. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add some sound and transitions, but we'll cover that on another movie.